Minecraft Pocket Edition custom maps. How do you get these on your phone? Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. You guys are always asking for new Pocket Edition tips. And before we go too far, I do want to say this is only for the iOS users. Sorry, Android or Windows Phone or I don't know, those, those users out there. This is just a tip for the Apple folks in the audience. That's a lot of people I know. People love their iPhones and their iPads. So I get questions all the time asking, how do I get custom maps onto my phone? Also, I get asked, how do I save my Minecraft world onto my computer so that it is backed up? Well, this answers both of those questions. It's pretty simple. You just need a computer with iTunes installed. You don't have to go through any third parties for this tip. So once you have your iPod or iPad or whatever iOS device and a computer with iTunes installed, plug it in. Then inside of iTunes, navigate to that device from the options along the top. Select apps and then scroll down until you see file sharing. In the app, you should see Minecraft PE. Click on that and you'll see two folders in the documents windows. You have games and internal. Click on the games folder and then press save to and save it to the same location as the map you have downloaded um, or you know save it to you know if you just want to you know save it navigate through the folders uh, you're going to go through games dot com dot mojang and then minecraft worlds now copy the world folder that you downloaded into that folder and you can close out of this back into iTunes uh, next to save to there is an add or add file button on uh, the select uh, and then so, so you select the games folder and hit replace and then it will replace those folders inside of the Minecraft Pocket Edition app. Sync your device and load up Minecraft Pocket Edition and enjoy playing other people's maps or having a backup of your own map. Uh, I think that this was really nice because in the past we had to use an external app that kind of like broke into your phone and uh, you don't have to do any of that now. You can just use iTunes, which is really, really nice. I hope that you have found this tip, this tutorial enjoyable and useful to you. If you did, make sure you give this video a big like. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts on this video are and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more episodes all about Minecraft. YouTube.com slash OMGCraft. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye!